All right, guys. Today we're gonna be doing another swim whiz bait. Um, we're gonna make this kind of like, um, kind of like a fall fish. I think. I think that's what we're gonna go for. I'll show you guys what a fall fish is. I'll put one up on the screen here. Um, if you don't know what one is, just so you can see what I'm trying to make. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so starting out with a white base coat, opaque white. So we'll spray that on and then I'll let you know when I'm done and I'll heat set it. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of like the undertone of like a, a brownish, goldish, bronze color undertone and then I come over and we'll start to darken it in a little bit. I see a little bit of blue up here in the face and then some darker brown gray down the back. So that's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to net this before we do anything. That way we get the scale effect. Get our clips out and our netting. I reuse this netting quite a few times before I finally get rid of it. There's nothing wrong with it. So we'll clip this up. Okay, so heat set's done. We're gonna unwrap this bad boy. And once I get done unwrapping it, I'll show you guys what the result looks like. So here's the result. Right now. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's coming out kind of like I wanted it to. Um, so I'm gonna come down the back, fill that brown in a little bit, maybe get a little bit of overspray here, and then start to darken things up a little bit and then put a little bit of shine on the face. So using the same transparent brown, come down the back and darken that in. Okay, so I came down the back with that and now I'm gonna start to darken it up a little bit with maybe a little, just a touch more blue here and there. Some darker blue and then some darker detail black magenta on the back. Okay, so we're gonna take some of our transparent medium gray and we're gonna blend that in with the brown on the back. Okay, so now we're going to heat set this so we don't have too many thick layers of paint and then I'll get right back with it. Okay, so we got the gray on there and now we're gonna go over the back with some detailed black magenta. Okay, so now that's done. I gotta make sure to clean my airbrush really good because I'm gonna come underneath 
and just give it some little pop underneath with some brighter color. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> uh, last night I think, I know, um, and if it isn't, this video will probably won't be posted. Uh, I did the detail black magenta and I showed you guys afterwards. The only thing I did after that was I, I put some um, fluorescent raspberry to kind of make the cheeks pop a little bit underneath the bill. And then I just put some pearlized white on the belly to make that kind of shine a little bit and put my name on it. That's really all else I did. Now I'm just choosing out some eyes. I'm gonna go with these kind of clearish yellow eyes and then I'll get them glued in here. So just a little bit of super glue. And a utility knife always helps to kind of set them in place with these small eyes. Do the other side. Okay, so now the eyes are completely on, name's on it, bait's completely done, and it's ready for some clear coat. I'll probably put some glitter in the clear coat, maybe some silvery clearish glitter to make it pop a little bit around the black areas, and yeah. I'll let you guys see it when I'm done. Okay guys, this is the 8 inch believer that we made to look like a fall fish. Um, got the clear coat on, put some sparkles in there as well. Name on it, this is all said and done. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I'll be excited to use it next fall. As always guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If anybody has any suggestions of what I should paint next, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.